Hello and welcome to the Courtside Tablet Scoring System video. First thing we need to do is set up our teams and players. This is the screen you'll be presented with. On the top right hand side, if your team's not already selected, just tap on the team that's yours. Once that's done, simply tap on all the players by their plus button who are playing in this game. You'll see here that two players don't have numbers, but that's okay, we'll fix that in a minute. Tap on all the players to add them in. You will see the player four and five don't have numbers. We can click on the little edit next to their numbers and add their numbers on. Simply type the number, 27 on this occasion, and click done. 27 will be allocated to that player. Edit the second player, that'll be number 19, and click done. While it's not totally necessary, you can also change the colors of the player's tops. Makes it much easier to identify on court. We'll set a base color for the singlet of a dark blue and then a light blue for the numbers. Click done, that team's ready to go. Click over to the next team by clicking next team or selecting the team up the top. Just click plus next to all the players that need to be added. Again, we've got two players that need to have numbers, number 18 and we'll enter number 33. We'll change this team to have green jerseys with yellow numbers. The in-game display is our main display. Up the top on the left and the right hand side, you'll see the fouls for the team fouls, the amount of timeouts. On the left hand side and right hand side, all the players, the actions we can assign to those players are in the center and up the top, the score, the quarter and the time. The game actions are things we can assign during the game. We can either click the player first in the action or the action and then the player. Let's start the clock and that'll run down. We can now click on number 22 for the blue team who has scored two points. 22, then plus two, will add two points to the team's total. On the right hand side, we'll now add another score. Number four for the green team has also scored two points. Player fouls are added in the same sort of method. Click on the player here, number 54, and click the foul. One foul will be added to that player. In a typical scenario, we now have free throws. So the other team, the blue team, will now receive free throws. Plus one, number 88 scored a free throw. I'm going to click a plus one again and add another free throw to number 88. But in fact, this is incorrect. So a simple error is easily fixed. So let's go back to what we did. Plus one for number 88. Score was three and now it's four. It's a simple matter of clicking undo last in the action panel and that will then remove that from the score. Fixing an error that's back in time, however, is different. We click the action log, which will give us the action that's happened for the quarter. Here we can see number 54, three actions ago, scored three points. In fact, it was number 88. Click on edit, click on reassign, we'll give that to a new player, we'll reassign that action to number 88 and click save. Once that's done, back out of the action log into the main screen and you'll see number 88 now has four points and number 54 doesn't have the three. This clock may not always match the game clock. At the end of the quarter, which is about to run out now, it doesn't matter because the game clock is what matters. As long as we don't start the clock for the second quarter or period, we can still add events and they'll still count in this quarter without upsetting anything. Keep adding any events that happen and they'll be recorded correctly. Any technical fouls, with the associated sin bin need to be recorded correctly. The umpire will signal a T and then the player for the technical foul. Here number 54 has a technical foul, signaled by the T1 and then the red foul count. He then goes into the sin bin for five minutes. We'll magically move ahead in time. You can see with a couple of seconds to go, he'll then become active and able to take part in the game once again. A player is fouled out after five fouls. Here on the green team, number one has four fouls. He then receives another foul, goes to the bottom of the list, indicated with a strike through his name and fouled out. An unsportsmanlike foul signaled by the referee holding their wrist above their head is a different type of foul again. This needs to be recorded against a player. Here number 33 is receiving an unsportsmanlike foul. U1 and his fouls go red is scored against the player. We'll move ahead in time and he now has three personal fouls and receives another unsportsmanlike foul. And even though he only has four fouls, he'll now be disqualified out of the game and no longer able to take part. Sometimes a player number will either be wrong or will need to change during the game. 
This is easy. Click the edit button next to the team. This will take you to the team screen. Click on the number of the player, the actual number. Once that's done here on number 19, you can then change the number. On this occasion, New Guernsey, number 34, click done, and that's now updated in the main screen. Here, we can add an error correction without undoing last. Here, number 34 for the blue team will score a foul. In fact, he scored two points. The game then continues, and number four for the green team scores three points. Now we need to go back and fix that foul, which was actually a two points. This is no problem. Click the action log, click the action we need to change. Here it was a foul. Take the foul off by pressing foul, plus two, which is actually correct. Click save, and you can see there we've now changed from a one foul into plus two points. Back out of the action log by clicking the left arrow into the main screen, and all's been fixed. At the end of the game, Sometimes the clock won't match the game clock and it will run out, which it's about to now, but the game's still continuing. This may look scary, but all you need to do is press the cancel button and it'll take us back in. Once we're back in, we can then add actions as necessary until the game is complete. And these will all be recorded correctly. That's about it. Thank you. Enjoy scoring. It's a fun part of the game and we appreciate the work you do.